Okay, so I've done a full body cleanses on both of them. Space is sterile. <sighs> Did you get blood samples for Kensington's research project? Mm hmm. <sighs> nice work, Dr. Wakefield. <laughs> so, another drone? Yeah. They dropped nerve agent on their apartment block. A woman was coming home from the shops. The boy was playing with a soccer ball. What, you mean uh, a football? Hi. I'm Amy. You're... Talo. Pleasure to meet you, Talo. Are you going to hurt me? I'm team doctor. You got injured, but I'll have you back playing football very soon. Okay. Reese, I need to administer atropine. Yeah, I, I didn't get a chance to restart the vials. Supply tent now. It's okay. Tell him, it's okay. Atropine injections worked on everyone I treated in Syria. Okay? What's your name? Dima. We're not safe here. The Supreme Leader ordered this attack. We're here to help you. He's trying to kill us. Both of us will stand against him. Tell me. Will this chemical ruin my life? Tosa. It's very serious. You're in the best possible hands, I promise. Honesty. It's very nice to hear it for once. Thank you. I need... I need to save my baby. The supply tent's been depleted. There's only one vial left. What are you gonna do? Make a decision. Dima, give me your arm. Dima, please, you have to trust me. This will save you and your baby. Reese, how do I save them both? Reese! stand on the precipice of history. I'm Dr. Amy Tennant, and I'm here on behalf of the visionary Natalie Kensington to inform you how your investments have made that possible. Firstly, we've been using your billions for the greater good. The Kensington Corporation's relationship with Kindar has flourished since the resolution of its civil war. Our teams have been working on development projects with some of the country's top scientists. Natalie has even developed an internship program for some of the country's brightest young minds. In fact, some of our Kindarian interns are here with us today. Oh, hey. Is Kindar still a totalitarian state? Human rights violations and all that shit? Kindar is at peace, but your concern is understandable. May I continue my presentation? I'm just saying, it's 
bad PR for us to associate with Kensington if she's dealing with the dictator. Well, as you've seen, that's simply not the case. Why is there so much research happening out there? It's a fucking waste of our money and resources. Kindar is a former British colony, and we're all here trying to help it recover. Seems like good philanthropic PR to me. And it's a tax haven. Go on. Now, the real reason you're here. The Kensington Complex. Our impenetrable HQ of laboratories built bespoke to Natalie's specifications by the world-renowned Parker Kaplani. Deep within the complex is Security Lab Alpha, a womb of scientific advancement. There, we have something remarkable in development. I'm sure all of your news feeds have told you that Gordon Grosvenor's expedition to Mars is becoming a reality. Yes, the first person to set foot on Mars will be British if we can hurdle this final obstacle together. Hey. Hey. Are you okay? Yeah, rough night. Don't do drugs, Kay. We can't fit a hospital on a 10-ton Mars lander. How do we get around this? Nanocells. Stem cells interwoven with nanotech. Once inside a host, they migrate to the site of injury. There, they regrow bone and generate extra blood to help catalyze the healing process. Tiny magic bullets. <laughs> What's your problem? This is, of course, just a mock-up. The real nanocells are still in development and securely back at the complex, but once they're ready, we can begin regulated human trials. Having treated victims of chemical attacks all over the world, I know that nanocells could be miracle tech. <laughs> Amy, you need it urgently. Hang on. I have some serious concerns about this. Likewise. Before my employer invests any more capital, she wants some answers. Amy, I really can't wait. We need to get you to the car now. Yes, absolutely. What are your questions? What's the catch of this miracle tech? You've made it in a lab, so is it radioactive or what? What about privacy laws? Are they trackable? Don't worry, we're talking about genetic reprogramming here, so nothing artificial or unnatural would ever go into our consumers' bodies. Amy, please, we need you now. It's an emergency. I have to go, but please stay and enjoy the wonderful hospitality. Let's go, Emily. We need to get you on the scene immediately. The scene? What happened? It's already gone viral. I'm ruling out food poisoning. She has other alarming symptoms, we've been told. Naturally, everyone's crying terrorism. A suicide bomber with a malfunctioning bioweapon? We need to get her to the complex. OK, why is this our problem? Because she's one of our interns. Thank God you're here. This is beyond our remit. Oh. 
Excellent quarantine work. I'll examine her back at the complex. And we were waiting on your word before moving her. Uh, a single person drone or ground happiness. The drone will get her there faster. But it's more dangerous. If it crashes, then whatever's inside her, it gets out into the public. It won't crash. It's Kensington Tech. Use the drone, Amy. Drone. Don't fuck it up. So, what else do we know about her? Nothing yet. Let's get back to the complex. Buddies of a renegade. Well, the prospect of losing a friend in a strange country. I can empathise with that. Today we need all your field experience, Amy. Time to roll back the ears. Mm -hmm. You can say that again. You've got to be kidding me. Nah. It's been a while, Dr Wakefield. You got here fast. Well, there weren't any blood vomiting ladies on my tube line. Reese Wakefield. Hug. Let's walk and talk. So, which legend fed the media the anthrax rumour? I need to take this. Was it her? So, do we have a name yet? Claire Mahek, she's one of us. Inside job. Now, she must be acting alone. Why else would she take the tube? Well, Uber doesn't offer a getaway car service yet, so... Look, if we consider the hysteria, it might actually be valid. What, terrorism? I highly doubt it. Perceptive as ever. Hey, Amy, look. I promise... I didn't know you still worked here. If I did, I would have... Stayed away? Yeah, I'm sure. <sighs> Look. Why are you skydiving? Or bungee jumping? Or whatever it is that you were up to? Because I'm passing through London. I checked my Twitter feed this morning, saw something I could help with. Plus, Kensington wants my expertise again. Well, she already has my expertise. I'm not disputing that, nor am I apologising for the skydiving. Guy's got to live. And if you could come back and let me know your decisions. OK, thank you. You didn't want to run this by me? Two lifesavers are better than one. Reese Wiggins. Emily did due diligence, too. Come on. Hey, uh, guys, can I just, uh, have five minutes? Just, uh, just need to use the gents. <laughs> Can we go, please? Nat, I need to take five as well. A girl's life hangs in the balance. Oh, for goodness sake.
from your assistant stay in a security lab, Alpha. You should see the other guy. Security lab, Alpha. Nan, is this my tech? Yes. But how? I mean, nothing leaves or enters the lab without us knowing about it. Emily and I will get to the bottom of that. You just get the nanocells, otherwise our life's work's gone. All of the nanocells are inside of her? It, it was a master batch. No duplicates were made. Good luck. Oh my god, you guys are serious about your fashion. Yeah, no more frumpy hazmat suits. Pressure suits? You'll see. All right. Better changing facilities than in the Congo, eh? Yeah. And Kinder. Into space. Vacuum conditions active. Something like that. Echo! This vacuum acts as the last line of defense to prevent microbes from escaping the lab. The lack of air makes it sterile as hell. Well, that's great on a microscopic level, but it could do with some physical. Barriers. How long have you worked here again? Four years last Wednesday. Yeah, it's been that long. Just thinking about some of the stuff we saw. I saw a whole other year's worth after you left. And it wasn't just skydiving. I needed a reset, try new things. Learn anything that could help us today? Hope not. I could kill for a cigarette. Do you still smoke? No. I kicked all my bad habits. Vacuum conditions inactive. Dr. Thomas Malkin, Dr. Everly North. This is Dr. Reese Wakefield. He'll be assisting us today. Cool pony cell. Let me take you to her. <sighs> Feels like we're at the center of those dolls that go inside each other. Matryoshka dolls. Yeah. Russian, aren't they? <laughs> so what's your story then, Markin? I've wanted to assist Dr. Tennant since I saw a talk at the Plains Summit about the extracellular matrix and lattice in stem cells. Holy shit. It's attacking the bone structure. We've never seen anything like it. I have a sample of her blood under the microscope. Got 
Guys, this is my tech. The nanocells are inside her. But they're unfinished. There's no off switch, so they're just coursing through her body, producing excess bone and blood. But how could she have contracted them? From a spillage, maybe. They barely survive for two minutes once they're exposed to air, and she didn't have the authorization to access them. But someone's put them in her. No, 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 no. leave it in, Claire. You need it. Oh, it feels fucking weird. You a terrorist? It'd be a terrible one if I was. I did this for Nina. What's Mina? Terrorist organization. Oh, you stop that, please. Look, how many times have we seen a lone wolf release pathogens into the air? Nanocells aren't airborne. They can only be transferred via blood-to-blood -blood contact. Answer call. Bioterrorism suspect named as Claire Mahek, a Kendarian intern at Kensington. TV off. Tell me you can retrieve our nanocells. Not directly. We'd need to extract a large blood sample to keep them active. From there, I'll use that as a roadmap to recreate the master batch. Seems simple enough. She has plenty of blood to spare. Not exactly. Her new bone matter, I remove that much blood in one go, she'll die. And if she dies before you extract her blood? Without a living host, the nanocells will just dissipate. Au revoir, nanocells. So either way, she dies. OK. Amy, we're going to have to go for the option where we retain our asset. Natalie, I can't just... I'll get back to you. End call. What should we do, Doctor? Set up for a full blood diagnostic. There has to be a way to get the nanocells out of her safely. Dr. Wakefield, please replace her IV. I can't risk any outside contamination. Sure thing. Dr. Tennant. Need to replace this, OK? Don't bite me. Whoa! <laughs> Shit, sorry. A little rusty. You know what I mean? And don't. Don't go anywhere. Who delivered this crate? Oh, it was here when we arrived this morning. Well, it's in the way. It needs to be moved. Dr. Malkin, can you move this crate for me, please? Sure thing. Thank you. Dr. North. Dr. North. I'm sorry, my shoulder's playing up. Do you mind? Cheers. Ah! Oh, my God! Ah! Dr. North? Help me! It's not personal.
I knew there was something off about Malkin. What kind of a scientist has a fucking ponytail? Duck! Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. You're fine. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's Claire, all right? I'm currently the safest person in this room. Good enough for me. Why are we in lockdown mode? It's detecting the poison from the acid bomb. It won't be in the air for much longer. Thanks for that. Call Natalie Kensington. Emily, where's Natalie? There's been an incident in the lab. Yeah, I can see that, and the biosecurity's kicked in. I need Natalie on the line right now. I don't care who she's with. Yeah, okay, she's in her office. I'll call you right back. And call. Okay. First things first, let's get this cleaned up. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. We'll be back in a minute, Claire. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> What the fuck? Well, for kit. Well, that needs to come out one way or another. Kensington could have at least left us some of her expensive whiskey. Ah! Uh... All right, this is gonna stink. What does the sign say on an out-of-business brothel? Eh? Ah! Oh! Oh! Beat it, we're close. Mm! Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I have to clean this wound. No, 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 it'll be fine. We've got bigger fish to fry. Did you hear that? Yeah, what was that? Here, I'm gonna go see if there's something in the intensive lab. No, Amy, it's fine. Look, we need to figure out what the fuck is going on. from the void. Is that? It must be coming from beyond the walls. Is there any security cameras we can check? On the computer, but I don't know how my assistants did that. All right, would you mind? Thank you. <sighs> right, got it. These are the security cameras in the void. In masks? What's the rumbling, though? Sound doesn't travel in a vacuum. Shit, they've deactivated the vacuum. 
No prizes for guessing who the brains of this operation is. God bless those security walls, eh? This is impossible. They would need unprecedented access to our security systems to be doing this. They're her dumb cavalry. Well, they're Kendarian too. I knew you were part of something bigger. Lump us all together because they have the same features. Big eyes and big lips too. The divisions in my country are complex. Those bunch are not from my team. And now they're fucking with us. Answer call. call. Amy, what's going on down there? You've been infiltrated, Kensington. Dr. Malkin was a plant. Thanks to him, Dr. North is dead, and so are my dreams of becoming a professional footballer. But you killed Malkin. Yeah, how do you know that? Emily checked security footage from the lab. I mean, does privacy even exist around here? There are three mass intruders in the void, and they're armed. They deactivated the vacuum and bypassed the security wall. I'm still alive. Make sure she knows that. Biosecurity is still enabled, so you are safe no matter what. Well, unless they open the door with that magic laptop. I'll get on to this intruder situation. Oh, well, not that I'm not grateful, but why is lockdown mode still active? The poison from the acid bomb has dissipated and the bioprotector is containing Claire's infection. It must be detecting something else. The safety of London is paramount. We can't risk a bug getting into the city. Amy, you need to extract Claire's blood, especially if the intruders have come for her. The nanocells cannot fall into the wrong hands. Well, there's uh, an easy way to prevent that. We smoke Claire. No! End call. Wow. Still can't keep your cool under pressure. She's responsible for this. That makes no sense. We're her only hope at retrieving the nanocells. Yeah, she's going to let us extract the nanocells and then kill us by gunfire. Wow. Bleak much? All right, look, Parker Kaplani designed this lab, right? Do you think he built an escape route, a back door, anything? I don't know. We'd have to ask him ourselves. Yoo-hoo! What now, Claire? Can you move the dead people? Now that she mentions it. Okay, how about this one? Enough with the Natalie theories. Remember those new skills I was telling you about? Well, advanced computing is one of them. Programming, coding... Hacking? I prefer the term unsolicited browsing. Yeah, no, sorry. Hacking is better. Look, I know you two are besties, but I find that a bit... Yeah. Let's access her camera. Give it a little listen. This is how scientists get killed, you know. Where did you learn to do this? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Really? Wait, you shouldn't... Look, if she's got nothing to hide, what's the issue? We're in this together. We need to cooperate if we're going to survive. Go ahead. The three intruders in the void have managed to lock every lift and door giving us access down there. Whatever they've done is called electrical blips throughout the entire building. There are questions. Have the security idiots announced an upgrade gone awry? No one can think this clear situation's any more serious than it already is. This seems planned, Natalie. There must be more traitors in our midst. Emily, please! Two people are trapped in that lab with our prized asset. They are our priority. Announce a security upgrade. I clear the airways in case she calls. Who could the traders be working for? Let's ask the original. Claire. Amy, 
What do you and your friends want? Not an espionage mastermind. They aren't with me. So how did all the nanocells end up inside you? <laughs> Isn't that totally obvious? You should listen to Professor Xavier over there. About what? Kensington. So she put them in you? <laughs> no. <laughs> not me. Thank you. Seriously. How long have you been at the complex? A year. We've always had passing conversations on higher floors, but I don't think you remember. I always wanted to work in this lab with you. Well, here we are. Claire, come on. Just tell me what's happening so that I can help you. Oh, I got them all. Mina. Who's Mina? Claire. She's about as useful as a chocolate teapot. Ready for more cryptic bullshit? Answer call. Guys, you were right about the intruders. They've sabotaged the system and have electronically barricaded themselves in the void. Yeah, tell us something we don't know, please. How are they bypassing our security system so easily? Kensington Corporation's dark plummets amidst TV links off. Rescue plans are being made. Well, have you contacted Parker Kaplani? He designed the lab. He'll know how to get us out of here. We've been trying, but he could be anywhere on the planet right now. Parker has no compunctions about who he builds labs for, as long as he pays, quote, Excuse me. Emily, wait. Please. Give us something. Help us. Dr. Malkin, the three intruders in the void, Claire, they all infiltrated the complex expertly. What, an another country in the space race, or...? Possibly. Well, they might be trying to steal the nanocells, or destroy them. I'm gonna move heaven and earth to try and get hold of Parker. Thank you, Emily. End call. Whatever they're doing up there, we need to come up with some ideas of our own. Is there anything else you can do in the computer system? I can hack the communication lines, get in touch with Parker Kaplani myself. Okay, awesome, you do that. I'm gonna look for a way out of here. <coughs> Are you okay? I think the air is getting stale down here. No, that's impossible. Even in lockdown mode, there's always a steady supply of oxygen. Lost something? Welcome back, Sleeping Beauty. I need something to get me past that vent cover. I always wished I was taller. Hey, Mitch, you need a hand? Yeah. <laughs> See, even with one leg, Wakefield is the MVP. Most vanishing person? Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. 
That was no. harsh. No, no, no. I'm proud you've grown some wit. Come on. Okay. That's it. <laughs> Got it? Yeah. Yeah. Is it loosen up? Yeah. Nice work, turn on. Let's take a video. Okay. You going in or not? Okay. Ready? Yeah, after three. One, two, three. Continues behind the oxygen tank. Can you squeeze past it? Only one way to find out. Made it. That's excellent news. I thought you were going to get stuck. I think there's something further on. Oh, it's quite cute, marching wounds. I mean, mine is, mine is slightly more impressive. Mine put both of yours to shame. I hate her. <laughs> so, anything else of note up there? Just a storeroom full of broken glass and... What's this deal? There's only one wall left between them and the lab door. Please tell me you got a hold of Parker. Negative. Uh, I got a hold of the CCTV footage from the past 24 hours. Okay. Sift through it, see if there's anything helpful. Roger that. Fucking sneaky bastard. Wait, Claire got access to the lab? Is that your master batch? How did she get that level of clearance on her ID card? Wait, what were you, you injected yourself? Why didn't the lab shut down? The nanocells need time to diffuse in the bloodstream. I was able to get out of the complex before feeling the effects. What the fuck is she doing in the storeroom? I destroyed all the duplicate nanocells too. What? I didn't authorize any duplicates to be made. So you were just stealing the master batch for employers to replicate? Who? Who was it? Was it the Russians? No, I was heading to MI6 to... 
Oh, fucking impeccable timing as always. MI6? Why were you taking them there, Claire? Insigo! Parker. We got a hold of Parker. Half true. I was already en route. I get alerted every time shit hits the fan in one of my labs. We also have the identities of the three intruders. Sending them through. These guys? They're from last year's batch of Kindarian interns. Sleepers, like Malkin. Yeah, 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 guys, guys, guys. There's one security wall between them and us. What have you got? What are our best options, Parker? I need 10 more minutes to study these blueprints. That lab was built to contain world-altering alchemy. So excuse me if back doors weren't part of my thinking. Amy. End call. Reese. What? Do you want to listen to a fucking bullshit about nanocells again? We've got 10 minutes to think without all that shit. It's not meant for you, but fuck it. You need to see the truth about Kensington and Kinder. What is it? Just watch. Careful, Amy. Always. Files, Kensington, and Picnic. Which one do you want to watch? If this gets over, we'll be answering to the UN. Kensington, Ma. What's the problem? We quashed uprising villages. And you got human trials to assess your technology. To burn one stone. The three whole villages. Your scientists need not know how the data was acquired. The supreme leader is a man of discretion. We trust you are the same. Most certainly. Make sure of it. Or we will. Um, I think my mind's thinking the same thing as yours, so do you really want to watch the other video? Claire. Please. You sure? <laughs> look, look! Okay. You've forgotten the wine but remembered your phone. Typical. <sighs> Nina's mad at me these days. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I forgot the wine, okay? Yeah. Bro, onion bhajis, <laughs> egg mayo, <laughs> tomatoes. <laughs> Claire. Takes too many selfies in London. Not that much. <laughs> no, look, I'm showing the surroundings. Look, look, look how pretty this grass is. Come on, let's, let's take a picture. Look at the camera. <laughs> Smile. <laughs>